If you like this video please click on the like button. Comment with the names of the movies you would like us to cover next. Click the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified of our latest creations. We cover 100 movies from around the world every day. To advertise with our channel reach out to us. Our contact information is on our channel page. Now, let's move to the plot of this movie. Ruthie has recently inherited her grandmother's abandoned hotel and has returned to stay in it for a few days with her girlfriend Cal and their friend Maddie and Tagalong Fran. Despite feeling uncomfortable there, Ruthie is hoping to fix her and Cal's troubled relationship and reluctantly entertains the idea of running the hotel at Cal's insistence. She watches several hotel management videos on her phone, including those featuring a woman, Ms. Auerbach, the groundskeeper, Brian, arrives, expressing his disappointment that Ruthie's estranged mother, who had been staying at the hotel, has ended things between them before leaving town. Ruthie informs Cal that her mother arranged a meeting for her with a buyer, which upsets Cal. Privately, Maddie discusses their distaste for Ruthie, questioning why Cal is still with Ruthie after she cheated on her. Ruthie becomes increasingly agitated with Fran's presence, having secretly carried on an affair with her before attempting to end it. The next morning, Fran encounters disturbing visions of former guests. Hysterical. Fran pleads with the others to all leave. But the group believes Fran is merely seeking Ruthie's attention and they abandon her at the train station. Ruthie begins to hallucinate that Ms. Auerbach is speaking to her in her videos. Cal and Maddie, noticing Ruthie's gradual mental decline, are wary when she insists that Fran has returned and is a murderer. Brian returns and is murdered by a chainsaw wielding figure in another wing of the hotel. Maddie is later attacked by the figure, who she believes is Ruthie, unable to get a rideshare to pick him up, and finding videos of Ruthie and Fran together. Maddie and Cal lock the unhinged Ruthie out of the hotel. Ruthie breaks back in, discovering to her surprise the buyers there to discuss their terms, along with Ms. Auerbach who claims she is a consultant. Encouraged by Auerbach. Ruthie refuses the deal, and they all leave, trying to find Cal. She discovers Brian's body, finding her with the body. Maddie and Cal overpower Ruthie, believing her to be the murderer and lock her in a room. Ruthie encounters white liquid pouring from the ceiling and is awoken the next morning by Fran, who has returned to rescue her. Cal sees that Fran really has returned and assumes she is threatening Ruthie and attacks her. Ruthie pushes Fran out of a window, where she falls to her death in the empty pool. Meanwhile, Maddie awakens and investigates a supposedly unsafe hotel room that Ruthie had previously forbade them from entering, discovering the body of Ruthie's mother, who is revealed to be Auerbach. Maddie rushes to warn Cal. Seeing that Ruthie has her mother's phone on her, Cal realizes the truth. Ruthie screams at Cal that she didn't want to return here and that she forced her. Maddie and Cal flee the hotel grounds, but Ruthie chases them down with the chainsaw, murdering them in a strip mall parking lot while pedestrians walk by without reacting. Ruthie returns to the hotel where she sees her mother with Brian in one of the rooms her mother shuts the door on her, leaving Ruthie to wander the halls alone. 